Hello everyone and welcome to a really, really awesome Power Mac G3 upgrade. This is going to be such a cool video. It's going to be a lot shorter than the last upgrade because it's a very similar process. I'm not going to bore you guys with the same footage of you know me taking the G3 off the desk and stuff. We're just going to get into the real nitty gritty. This is going to be part one and then part two will be OS installation and we'll do some benchmarking and stuff as well because let's face it, this upgrade is going to be crazy. Now without further ado, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the OCZ, wait, yeah, Agility 3. This was donated to me by Daniel, so Daniel, huge thanks. The donations are going so well at the moment. Massive, massive, massive thanks to you. This is absolutely brilliant. He donated it to me like this, in this exact form, within this Corsair um, 2.5 to 3.5 inch adapter with a SATA to Molex connector. So I really appreciate it. I might as well leave it in this adapter. Um, as you know, in the G3, it's mounted from the bottom and it is extremely hard to find um, adapters in which you can mount, you know, 3.5 inch base from the bottom because most PC cases, in fact, probably all of them these days, mount from the sides like so. But anyway, um, I did indeed order um, this, which is basically the same thing, but it's Molex to dual SATA because there's one free Molex in the G3. That means I can now power both of my SATA drives because I might as well keep that 80 gig one in there for storage just so it's like an ultimate G3. Um, might as well keep that one in there and I can power both of them at the same time uh, with this adapter. So, of course, I'm probably, um, well, I I've done a little search, but I guess I'm one of the first people to put um, an SSD into a Power Mac G3. So this is super exciting. This is none of that OCZ or, um, no, OWC um, legacy IDE stuff. This is a SATA controller running a really speedy SSD. I believe this is 64 gigs in capacity, which is absolutely ample for OS X Tiger, which is the operating system we'll be installing onto this drive within one of my next videos, maybe the next one or maybe the one after that or something. I also ordered a little bit of a boost, this computer needs a boost, so I ordered uh, 4 gigs of 1866MHz Corsair Vengeance RAM, and of course we'll be sticking that in as well. Um, so what we're going to do is, of course we're not guys, I'm just, that was just sitting there, I don't have a clue why, and yeah, we're just going to upgrade it. It's at its maximum of 1 gigabyte of RAM, this machine was introduced in like 1998 or something like that. So how am I going to mount the SSD? Um, Velcro. Plain and simple, doesn't rotate, much easier, and it's cheaper than buying brackets and stuff. So without further ado, let's get the G3 onto this floor and upgrade it. So guys, these winter videos are always fun, you know, we can't really see anything, but whatever. First thing we're going to do is unplug the Molex from this SATA drive, because that SATA drive was indeed powered by Molex, which is pretty damn cool. And the SSD is going to slip in, let me just show you, right about there, which is awesome. Now it's not going to be a perfect fit, but we'll still uh, get some Velcro going. So, of course, we're just going to look at this, and we're going to take a couple of strips of Velcro, so one... that size and another one to match okay so easiest way to install this kind of velcro is of course lining up the strips is fairly difficult what I like to do is peel off um, hang on a sec We've got two of the wrong layers here. Yeah, they're not sticking. Where the hell's the other bit of that group on then? Yeah. 
Well, guys, this is rather unfortunate. I've basically only got the wrong, the non-sticky Velcro. Like, I've got a missing the other end. So, it's still quite sticky, but it's nowhere near enough. So I don't know where the hell my other bit of Velcro's gone. Whether I dropped it a minute ago, or something along similar lines. But anyway, what we're going to do is just slot this in. For now, until I find some uh, some Velcro. And it, it'll just stay there, actually. Check that out. That's actually slotted fairly stably in. It could be a lot worse. Anyway, let's get this stuff all sorted. So, we've got SATA in the main drive. Let's put, might as well take it out to put SATA in the SSD. SATA in the SSD is in. And then the power cable which I've misplaced. Here it is. I will plug into the SSD. There we go. And of course, plug into the mechanical drive. which is probably going to be easier said than done considering this angle. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh no, it's just jammed under the cage. Power's in. Let's get data back in because it popped out for some unknown reason. Lovely. So, tidying up all the cables ish. Getting that sitting in there. Getting that over there. And then the one free Molex. Powering the lot. That needs to go this way. Like so. Get them in there. So I've got an SSD, 80 gig SATA, 220 gig IDEs, the original ones that I had in there for OS 9 and OS 10. And she's closed up. Let's boot her up and see if it recognises it. I'm pretty damn excited to see the result, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is really exciting. Bit of a tricky angle, but it's not this part of the video that really matters. It's the next part when we get into the speed of this thing. So. Ooh, what have we got? Perfect. The disk you inserted was not readable by this computer. Initialize. It's going to launch Disk Utility, as you can see down the bottom in the dock. And then, of course, with a bit of luck... Yeah! It shows up right here. So here it is, the SSD. We'll go to Arrays. We're going to call it... Um, we're just going to call it SSD for now. We won't install OS9 drivers. We'll press Arrays. Erase and see if it'll erase it because I'm not sure that about Tiger compatibility in SSDs. I did read something, but I just thought I'd throw it in and give it a go. I think it's going to be absolutely fine, hopefully. Perfect. It's erased and it's actually appeared on the desktop. So, guys, that is my SSD right there. Can I just say a massive thank you to Daniel? Without Daniel, this would not have been possible. There's no way I can really afford to buy an SSD for a machine this old. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Of course, his links will be down below if he sent me any links. Um, I'll check my email inbox just before I upload this video. And of course, 
Um, thank you to everyone else who donates to this channel as well. It really, really helps. Daniel, this is fantastic. And there'll also be another video where Daniel's links will be in the video description and uh, he will get a mention just because we'll be installing the entire OS for this machine uh, onto the drive that he donated, which happens to be the quickest drive in this box right now and one of the quickest drives that I own. So, huge, huge thank you. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this really little quick upgrade video. Very very simple, the drive's not even mounted properly in the computer, I haven't really got a way to mount it at the moment, but it's only an SSD, it doesn't matter. So next time we'll be installing Tiger, please stay tuned for that, hope you've enjoyed, have a good day everyone.